What's up, guys? This is Chris from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my DFS picks for MLB Monday, July 26th. These picks apply for DraftKings and FanDuel. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. In this video, I'm going to go over my top DFS picks for today's MLB slate. And if you stick around to the very end of this video, we'll use the draft dashboard tools to make a DFS lineup using the picks we just made. Okay guys, we have a seven game slate tonight. So let's take a look at the pitcher position. So I'm gonna take a risk at pitcher here tonight and save some salary so I can stack those bats. I have two low salary pitchers that I'm looking at. The first one is Dallas Keuchel, and he's got a 4% pitching advantage over the Kansas City Royals. Dallas Keuchel, he's only giving up a .586 OPS versus lefties and a .613 OPS versus righties. He's facing two lefties and six righties. And on top of that, the Kansas City Royals have only hit 23 of his last 103 pitches. That's a 223 batting average and a huge sample size. He's only 7,200 FanDuel salary. He's 300 more on DraftKings, projected at 21.2 fantasy points here tonight. He has an ERA of 4.22. His record is seven and three on the season pitching an average of 87 pitches per game, averaging 22 fantasy points per game. He scored 27, 37, and negative three fantasy points in the last three games. Now, this is a risky pick because Vegas does think this is gonna be a high scoring game. 10 runs scored in this game. That's their over under, but you're gonna save a lot of salary with this pick so you can stack those bats. So I like Dallas Keuchel here versus the Kansas City Royals. The other low salary pitcher that I'm looking at is Michael Panetta with a 7% pitching advantage over a low salary batting team, the Detroit Tigers. Michael Panetta, he's only giving up a .582 OPS versus righties and he's facing five righties here tonight. And on top of that, the Tigers have only hit 20 of his last 70 pitches. That's a 286 batting average. And Michael Panetta is only 6,700 FanDuel salary. He's 200 more on DraftKings, projected at 25.8 fantasy points here tonight. He has an ERA of 3.94, record is 4 and 5 on the season, pitching an average of 80 pitches per game averaging 25 fantasy points per game. He scored 27, 13, and six fantasy points in the last three games. Now, Vegas does think this is gonna be a high scoring game. 10 runs scored in this game. So these are high risk, high reward plays here. But considering the slate where you don't really have any good top tier pitchers, no studs on the slate at pitcher. So I'm gonna pay down so I can stack those bats. So I like Michael Panetta here versus the Detroit Tigers. Okay, let's take a look at the catcher first base position. I like Vladimir Guerrero Jr. And he's batting against Nick Pavetta. Vladimir Guerrero Jr., he bats 6% better versus righty pitchers, batting a .949 OPS versus righties. And Nick Pavetta, He's giving up a .799 OPS versus righties. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. is three for eight, batting a 375 batting average and a 1.375 OPS versus Pavetta. He's 4,500 FanDuel salary. He's 1,500 more on DraftKings, projected at 13.4 fantasy points here tonight, averaging 15 fantasy points per game on the season. He scored nine and 12 fantasy points in the last two games. So I like Vladimir Guerrero Jr. here versus Nick Pavetta. 
I also like Joey Votto with a 32% batting advantage over Kyle Hendricks. Joey Votto is batting 24% better versus righty pitchers, batting a .878 OPS versus righties, and Kyle Hendricks throws his worst ball to lefty batters, giving up a .761 OPS versus lefties. Now, I like this pick because Joey Votto is 12 for, th uh, 12 for 33, batting a 364 batting average and a 1.289 OPS versus Hendricks. Out of those 12 hits, he has three doubles and three home runs, and he's only 3,200 FanDuel salary and only 900 more on DraftKings. So I like that price on both sites. Projected at 10.1 fantasy points here tonight, averaging 11 fantasy points per game on the season. He scored 32, 19, and 22 fantasy points in the last three games. So I like Joey Votto here versus Kyle Hendricks. Real quick, guys, I got great news. For a limited time, we're offering a full 30-day trial to Draft Dashboard. You can try all of our DFS tools for all sports. You can try the Position Optimizer, where you can see the top players ranked for each position. And we added a new Player Trends tool, where you can see the top salary differences between FanDuel and DraftKings. It's a really good tool to help you pick out value for the site that you're playing on. Oh, and if you're tired of doing research every day, we just added a cheat sheet that shows hand-picked plays for the slate. No confusing stat lines, no headaches, just a simple cheat sheet that shows the absolute best players for your lineups. I also like Wilson Contreras with a 52% batting advantage over Wade Miley. Wilson Contreras is batting a .712 OPS versus lefty pitchers, and Wade Miley he throws his worst ball by far to righty batters, 61% worse than his other pitches, giving up a .915 OPS versus righties. And I like this pick because Wilson Contreras is 8 for 19, batting a 421 batting average and a 1.082 OPS versus Miley. He's 2,900 FanDuel salary. He's 2,500 more on DraftKings. So I love that FanDuel price. And he's projected at 10.8 fantasy points here tonight, averaging nine fantasy points per game on the season. He scored 15 and 22 fantasy points in his last two games. So I like Wilson Contreras here versus Wade Miley. Okay, let's take a look at the second base position. Because we saved that salary at the pitcher position, we can stack these bats. So I got a stud pick for you. He's priced up on this slate because there's really not too many other second basemen that I like here. So I like Jose Altuve with a 16% batting advantage over a low salary pitcher, Darren McCoffin. Jose Altuve is batting 16% better versus righty pitchers batting a .776 OPS versus righties. And we need more pitches in for Darren to see where he's at on his splits. But Jose Altuve is 4,200 FanDuel salary and 800 more on DraftKings. Projected at 11.1 .1 fantasy points here tonight, averaging 13 fantasy points per game on the season. He scored six, six, and 12 fantasy points in the last three games. So I like Jose Altuve here versus Darren McCoffin. Okay, let's take a look at the third base position. I like Chris Bryant with a 92% batting advantage over Wade Miley. Chris Bryant is batting 31% better versus lefty pitchers, batting a one point, uh, I'm sorry, batting a .970 OPS versus lefties. And we know Wade Miley throws his worst ball versus righty batters, giving up a .915 OPS versus righties. And I like this pick because Chris Bryant is 8 for 18, batting a 444 batting average and a 1.355 OPS versus Miley. He's only 3,800 FanDuel salary, 1,100 more on DraftKings, 
projected at 10.5 fantasy points here tonight, averaging 11 fantasy points per game on the season. He scored 22, 15, and 9 fantasy points in the last three games. So he's got a lot going for him. Fantastic splits here tonight. So I like Chris Bryant here versus Wade Miley. Okay, who do we have at the shortstop position? I like Xander Bogarts with a 9% batting advantage over a low salary pitcher, Thomas Hatch. Xander Bogarts is batting a .839 OPS versus righties. Now we need more data in for Thomas Hatch, but he's given up a .571 OPS versus righties. And Xander Bogarts is 0 for 2 versus Hatch, but he is only 3,500 FanDuel salary. He's 1,900 more on DraftKings, projected at 10.8 fantasy points here tonight, averaging 11 fantasy points per game on the season. He's been kind of in a slump lately, only scoring 4, 3, and 7 fantasy points in the last three games. And I like this pick for two reasons. One, because he's going up against a low salary, untested pitcher. And also, Vegas thinks there's going to be 10.5 runs scored in this game. So a high scoring game. That's their over under. So I like Xander Bogarts here versus Thomas Hatch. Okay, moving on to the outfield position. I like Michael Brantley with a 30% batting advantage over a low salary pitcher, Darren McCoffin. Michael Brantley is batting 30% better versus righty pitchers, batting a .938 OPS versus righties. And we need more data for Darren, but Michael Brantley is only 3,000 FanDuel salary and only 100 more on DraftKings. So I like that price on both sites, projected at 10.9 fantasy points here tonight, averaging 10 fantasy points per game on the season. He scored 12, 9, and 10 fantasy points in his last three games. So I like Michael Brantley here versus Darren McCoffin. If you want to try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself, click the link in the description below this video or just go to draftdashboard.com. You can use our DFS lineup optimizer to build quality lineups using our picks and your own custom player pool. Click the link in the description below this video and try all these daily fantasy tools right now. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you can get instant updates whenever we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please smiggity smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh, and please comment below with your favorite player for this NBA slate. I love to hear what you guys have to think. Thanks again and good luck.